In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove a vendor as a follower on a purchase order. So when we create a new purchase order, by default, when we save it, it's going to add the sales representative as the default purchase representative as well as a follower on the task. And once I confirm it, it's going to add vendor one as a follower on the task as well. And sometimes we don't want to have that vendor as a follower. So what we can do instead is create an automated action. So we're going to search automated actions and we're going to make sure that the vendor is not a follower. So remove vendor as follower. And we're going to do it on the purchase order model. And what we'll say is on creation and update, we're going to execute Python code and I'm going to paste in some Python code here and I'll explain what it does. So what we're doing is first we're getting the vendor's ID and we're saying if the vendor is set for the followers in the record followers. So once we confirm that order, there's going to be two followers on the task. We're going to look for the, the ID of the partner and if it's equal to this vendor. So what we're saying is if this follower is equal to the vendors on this, ta on this purchase order, then we're just going to remove that follower. So we're going to call the onLink method to remove them as a follower. So let's save that. And now let's create a new purchase order. We'll say vendor one. We'll add a product and we'll save it. So by default, we're added as a follower and then we're going to confirm this order. And as you see, we are not a follower. So now what happens if we actually want to add the follower? And this is something we didn't take into consideration. We're going to add vendor one. We'll add email. And now we've added vendor one back as a follower. So that's how you can remove that automated uh, method that adds the vendor as a follower with this simple Python action.